Dear students, detailed civil engineering courses like Manual Building Design, Stat Pro, ETAP, SAP, Revert, AutoCAD, Primavera, P6 are available at Civil Engineering Stavan online application app. So download the application from the Google Play Store now. Each course contains 50 plus high quality video contents and free PDFs and exercises and online certification will be provided after completing the course. Course will be available at 67 to 70% discount now and valid up to 6 months. Download Civil Engineering application now from Google Play Store or direct link is available at the description of this video. Try to utilize this offer. So in this class I will explain you complete analysis and modeling of commercial building structural model by using SAP 2000 software. Complete designing of building structural model by using SAP 2000 software. So in this I am selecting my model initially. I will explain the specifications. So you can see here this is the typical floor plan I am considering for this particular building model. So it is consisting of approximately 5 meter for this shop one in horizontal direction. This is 3 meter just I am assuming this is 5 meter I am taking here. Again in the same process distance between these two members I am taking here as 2 meter. This is 5, 3 and this is 5, this is 2, this is 5, this is uh, 3 this is 5 meter again in vertical direction I am assuming each grid will be consisting of 5 meter 5 meter for this model so here you can see for this model it is consisting of approximately 1 2 3 4 5 number of the base in y direction condition system again in the same process we have to count the number of the base in horizontal which is consisting of 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 numbers here Okay, each will be consisting of horizontal distance of 5 meter, 3 meter, 5 meter, 2 meter, 3, uh, 5 meter, 3 meter, 5 meter, 2 meter, 5 meter, 3 meter, 5 meter. Okay, so the total distance will be approximately equal to uh, 5 plus 3 plus 5, uh, 13, 13 plus 2, 15, 15 plus 5, uh, 20, 23, 28, 30, 35. Uh, 35 40 43 meter in this horizontal direction okay so vertical direction will be consisting of 25 meter so initially i will show you the specifications also so beams i am i am considering for this building is 0 0.23 cross 0 0.46 and column size is 0 0.46 cross 0 0.46 and load cases i am considering only dead load as well as the live load condition system if you want you can consider the seismic load and wind load also so here i am selecting slab thickness which is approximately equal to 150 mm and grade of the concrete is M30 grade and grade of the steel is FE500 grade steel. Again in the same process I am selecting self weight as 1 and wall load as 24.3 kN per meter and floor finishing load as 2 kN per meter square live load is 3.5 kN per meter square. So these are the specification which is considered for this building model. Okay. So now I am selecting my SAP 2000 software here. Now we can see here the software will be open here with the interface here like this. Just I am selecting file option. Click on new model option. So here the model options will be open here like this. Initially we will select kilo newton meter center and from this selection template we will select the 3D frame model option here. So after that it will ask you to enter the number of the stories. So here in this case just I am selecting G plus 5 building structural model which is consisting of 6 floors. So here I am not considering the plinth level for this particular building model just I am considering uh, only the uh, level which is of 6 stories. Number of stories here I am assuming here as 6 number and story height just I am taking 3 meter. So number of base along x direction we need to assume initially just I am taking here as 11 numbers. And bay width default section I am taking here as 3 meter for this building model. And bay number of base along uh, width direction just I am taking 3. Again I am selecting 3 meter here. So click on this use custom grid spacing option in order to change the center to center distance between the column according to the given specifications in the plan. Okay. So click on this uh, edit grid data option. So now we have to select the spacing option instead of the ordinate sections. So first grid just I am assuming here as 5 meter and second grid is 3 meter, third grid is 5 meter and fourth one is 2. Again I am selecting next grid which is consisting of 5, this is 3, this is 5 and next one is 2 and next one is 5, 3, next one is approximately 5 meter. 
so after that we have to enter the spacing in width direction condition system also this is 5 meter this is 5 meter i am assuming here this is 5 this is 5 and final one is also 5 meter okay so after that we have to click on the okay option for this model so now we are we have to define the beam section column section according to the given properties like 0 0.23 cross 0 0.46 for the beam 0 0.46 cross 0 0.46 for the column so for that just i am selecting this place mark for this model click on add a new property option just i am selecting concrete which is comes under the rectangular property so here i am assuming the column just i am selecting here as column which is consisting of 0 0.46 cross 0 0.46 so here I am selecting grade of the concrete according to our definition we have to consider M30 grade FE 500 grade steel. So here I am selecting M30 grade is available here. Click on the enforcement option for the column. We will add the 500 grade steel for this model. Click on this place mark option add a new material select as Indian which is related to the rebar section here we have to select 500 grade here click on OK option. Now after this we have to click on OK. Now we will change this property to HYSD of 500, 500. Now we will assume the number of the bars which is presented here 4 by 4 just I am assuming and 16D I am considering here and again I am selecting 8D for the confinemental bar click on OK option again click on OK. Now in the same process we have to add the beam sections also click on add option rectangular property just I am selecting the beam which is of 0 0.23 cross 0 0.46. So depth I am selecting here as 0 0.46 and width I am taking here as 0 0.23 click on this material property so click on select concrete select the beam option and we will change this property to HYSD of 500 500 so here I am selecting cover is 0 0.03 30 mm cover at the top section as well as the bottom section click on OK option again we will click on OK option again we will click on OK now we will select the beam we will modify that to B option select the column we will modify that to column option C click on OK option so that it will uh, so that it will show you the complete model which is related to 3D view as well as the 2D view for this model here like this so initially I will select the left hand side view I will keep it as 2D view again I will come to the one more story top section again I am selecting this right hand side section I have been selecting here as 3D view so now we can see this is the 3D view for the model and this is the 2D view for the model according to the given specifications according to the given specifications now we have to define the slab thickness for this building model so for that initially we will go to define option section properties area section so click on add a new section this time selecting slab 150 this time taking here and we have to consider the membrane thickness as well as the bending thickness according to our consider dimensions so click on ok option again we have to click on ok now we have to draw the slab section for this building go to select this uh, quick draw areas option and we will select the slab 150 section just we have to drag to the model here like this so now we can see it was drawn here like this after this we have to select the right mark so click on general option select object fill apply to all windows click on apply click on ok so now we will delete this uh, some slab section which is presented in between the building sectional models okay so for that just i am selecting this uh, selection cursor just i am selecting this internal slab section why because these are not presented for this model just i am selecting here again in the same process i am deleting the property which is related to the staircases slab so here according to the plan it is consisting of the staircases model at this location okay so here i am selecting this is the location this is the location this is the location for the staircases as well as the lift provision go to define option edit option click on delete option so that it will delete the properties at that particular location now we will copy this slab section to the remaining stories 1 2 3 4 5 here go to select option for that properties select area section here select 150 section which is related to the slab go to edit option here now we will select the replicate option so we will click on this option and we will select the direction DZ which is consisting of 3 meter and it is consisting of 5 meter for each section okay 1 2 3 4 5 section click on apply option so that it will apply the uh, slab section to the remaining stories so after this we have to apply the load cases now we can see this is the model which is related to the 3D model for this building model okay so after this we have to 
apply the load cases before that we have to define the load cases related to date load as well as the live load go to define option for that click on load patterns option so it is consisting of the date load here and we will select the live load option here this time selecting here as live and click on add a new property so click on ok option now after this we have to apply the loads related to dead load live load according to our specifications which is specified here like self aid condition system wall load condition system floor load condition system for this building so initially i will select the all the building structural model by using all option so we will apply the self aid by using assign option this time selecting here click on joint loads select the forces option and we will give the factor as 1111 for the all the building model just i am selecting 111 1. so click on apply option so that it will apply the self aid condition system for this building now after this we have to apply the uh, wall loading condition system for the beams go to select option for that properties frame section select the beams option here now i am selecting the beams go to assign option select the frame line load select here as distributed add to existing loading condition we will enter the value as 24.3 kN per meter intensity click on apply option so that it will apply the uh, value which is related to the wall loading condition for the building after that we have to apply the slab load condition system which is related to 2 kN per meter square so go to select option for that select properties area section this time selecting slab 150 option here click on cancel assign option so area load we will select uniform shell and we will change this zero value to 2 kN per meter square intensity add to existing loading condition click on apply option so that it will apply the load related to 2 kN per meter square intensity for the slab again in the same process we will apply the load which is related to the live load condition system with 3.5 kN per meter square intensity for that select all the slab section go to assign option here select area load uniform load just i am changing dead loading condition to live load with intensity of 3.5 so click on add to existing loading condition click on apply option so that it will apply the live loading condition for this building model now after this we have to apply the load combination go to define option for that click on load combination click on add default design combination so here i am selecting concrete frame click on okay so that it will add the load combination here like this now we will apply the support condition systems at the base for that just i'm selecting all the node points which is presented at the base go to assign joint select the restraint select the fixed support click on apply option so that it will apply the fixed supports at the base for this building model now we have to do the analysis process go to analyze option set analysis option if you want to edit this particular available uh, degree of freedom so you can edit here because of the presence of the fixed support condition system i'm uh, locking all these properties so you can consider the space frame click on okay so again i am selecting analyze option so click on create analysis model option so that it will create the analysis model for this building so after creating the analysis model we will do the analysis go to analyze set load cases to run click on run now option so that it will do the analysis process for this building structural model as per the consideration before that we have to save this model just i am selecting my desktop oh, just i am selecting save some commercial building structural model just i'm selecting here commercial click on save option so that it will do the analysis process for this building under the considerations of the load then we will do the designing process according to your specified load cases now you can see it was done with complete analysis process i will show you this model in 3d view click on the 3d view option so now we can see this is the deflection diagram under the considerations of the dead load we will show you the deflection diagram in the animation view click on start animation option so that it will deflect the building structural model under the considerations of the different types of the load cases here like this okay so again we will see the shear force diagram bending moment diagram torsion diagram for this go to display option for that select uh, show forces option select forces otherwise if you want the support reactions also you can click on the joints option i will show you that option also so here i am selecting load case which is related to 1.5 times of dead load plus live load click on apply option so that it will display the shear force diagram ag axial uh, load diagram so this is the shear force diagram for this model and this is the bending moment diagram for this model 
again if you select the torsion then it will display the torsion diagram for this model in the same process if you want to to show the results which is related to support reaction go to display select uh, forces just i am selecting the forces here display forces select joints option and we will select the joint according to the consideration so click on apply option so that it will display the complete reactions which is presented at the base for this model now we can see this is the reactions which is presented for this building model at the support condition system okay so this is the complete process of analysis of commercial building and modeling of commercial building by using sap 2000 software so in the upcoming video i will explain you how to do the designing process by using sap 2000 software see you in the next video hello students welcome back to civil engineering sravan online application app so in the previous class we are done with complete modeling as well as the analysis of commercial building by using sap 2000 software so in this video i will explain you complete designing of the commercial building by using sap 2000 software so for that just i am selecting my model i was already done the complete modeling analysis so click on the 3d view option so now i will select the plan view for this model so now we will do the designing process for this building model go to click on the design option for that so it is consisting of steel concrete aluminium frame design and cold foamed steel frame design also so in this i am selecting concrete frame design here so select the view revised preferences initially just i am selecting here and i am selecting design code according to indian standard code here just i am selecting according to is 456-2000 code click on select your parameters according to the consideration if you know the complete parameters you can select here otherwise you can directly enter click on ok option for selecting the parameters so after selecting all the parameters now we have to click on the design option once again click on concrete frame design select the combinations so we are selected the two combinations which is related to 1.5 times of dead load plus live load and we are selected 0.9 times of uh, dead load plus live load condition system so click on ok option here now after this we have to click on the design option directly click on the concrete frame design click on start designing check option so that it will start designing of the member by using sap 2000 software for the beam sections as well as the column sections now here you can see it was done with complete designing of the members so you can select any one of the beam member just i am selecting this corner beam right click on this option so it is only selected with the joint not beam so we will select this particular beam right click on this option so it is consisting of complete details results related to frame id of 498 and beam according to is456 code okay you can consider summary option so it is consisting of complete summary of the design results which is obtained here and you can select the flexural details so it will be consisting of complete flexural details for this model again in the same process you can select the shear details option so it is consisting of complete shear reinforcement design results which is obtained for this building structural model as per is 456 2000 code provision standard system in the same process we will select the column this time selecting this particular column section so select this column this time selecting here right click on this option so click on the summary option so that it will show you the complete reinforcement design results related to summary of the column and this is the flexural details and this is the shear details for this building model again in the same process this is the interaction curve which is comes under this and this is the joint reactions option here again this is the b by c details option so this is the complete process of designing of the commercial building structural model you can see the results for each and individual beam reinforcement as well as the column reinforcement and you can check the results related to percentage of the steel values also so for that we have to go to design option again for seeing the results which is related to the percentage of the steel just i am selecting design option click on concrete frame design so in this we will select the display design information so we will select the particular value as rebar percentage click on ok option so that it will show you the complete percentage of the steel which is required for this particular beam section under the considerations of the different load cases so in this way you can check the results part which is related to the complete beam designing section as well as the column designing section for this uh, commercial building structural model by using sap 2000 software okay see you in the next video